back on to the tutorial. First of all, we're going in with Max Painted Paint Pot. This is the best eyeshadow primer of all in the entire world out of primers. Then you want to go ahead and apply a piece of tape to the outer parts of your eye. You don't have to do this, but I just like the professional look it gives the outer parts of my eye, and I just love the way that it looks. You want to go ahead and apply a cream coloured base to the lid. Anything like the Maybelline colour tattoos would work if you don't have the Tarte Shadow Sticks. Then you want to blend a mid-brown shade into the crease of your eye using a fluffy brush. This is going to act as your transition shade and then go in with a darker brown shade. Just build up the colours as you go along but just focus this more onto the kind of indent of the crease if that makes sense. Like don't blend it too high up onto the brow bone. Then you want to go ahead and take a gold shade, then a slightly deeper gold shade more onto the brown and then an even darker brown shade and just Build this up as a gradient going in from outer corner to outer corner. This is one of those looks that I think is foolproof and just looks amazing on everybody. No matter what your skin tone, what matter your eye colour, it looks amazing and it's just really really easy and simple. It's just three main colours from the Urban Decay palette and then a quick blend. And if you don't have the Urban Decay palette, I'm sure you'll be able to find a gold brown shade anywhere. Then you want to go ahead and give a quick blend and apply a highlight shade to your brow bone just for some extra pop. Then I went in with some eyeliner, this is the NYX Curve Eyeliner, it's really cool because it's ergonomically designed in the shape of your hand. Um, I just helped um, apply the outer wing liner to the outer corner of my eye obviously and the tape just helps me out a lot with that. And I just find I can't get it sharp enough without the tape, I might rely on the tape but we love the tape. So after the, that winged liner is down, you want to peel back that tape and it is such a satisfying feeling. Curl those eyelashes and apply plenty of mascara. We will be applying some falsies, but we love the mascara. This is the Smashbox for the exposure mascara. Once those lashes are prepped with mascara and have been curled, I'm going to apply some falsies. These are um, possibly Ardell Demi Wispies. I didn't put it in the editing process because I couldn't remember which pair they were, but I will remember by watching the clip back and put it in the blog post for you, so be sure to go check that out. Then for the eyeliner, I didn't want to go ahead and apply the standard, bog standard black eyeliner. I wanted something that's a little bit softer and to really go with that golden summer goddess look and it is the Tarte eyeliner in like a brown bronzy shade, it's really beautiful. Then I'm doing the exact same that I did on the upper lid to the lower lid from that gradient from the gold to the dark brown from inner corner to outer corner, it's just really beautiful and really foolproof. I'm bluffing, just buffing that in with the side of the brush and once that's all done I'm going to finish off the eyes with some mascara to the lower lashes and we'll go on to my face now. So we need something on the face. The face is looking too bare for this tutorial. <laughs> okay, so for the face, I wanted a super, super, super luminous look to the skin. So I decided to cover my face in this NYX Illuminator. It's probably not made to go on the whole face, but this is this is what we're working with here. So I applied to the palms of my hands. This rubbed into my face. Then once I'm looking a bit like a Tin Man, I applied the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid Foundation all over my face for a nice medium to full coverage. This foundation will take away that Tin Man look, but just give you that nice kind of dewy, satiny finish as the name goes. Then I applied lots of the Rimmel Wake Me Up concealer in the areas that I wish to highlight slash bring out slash conceal. So pretty much my entire face, but you'll see where I put it in the rest of this tutorial. Under the eyes in a triangle is the main portion of this. I also applied it to both sides of the tops of my eyebrows because I had quite a big kind of spot there and I wanted to cover that up, but I didn't want to put the concealer just on that section if that makes any sense. Then I just pass that in with my fingertips and a bit of the foundation brushes to blend the concealer into my skin. Once that concealer is all blended into the skin using my fingertips and taking the real stay matte powder just to kind of map down any areas that do get shiny throughout the day and not in a good way, just like the upper lip section and the forehead. Then I'm taking Max Saw Lip Primer and just using this as my main focal lip colour and just applying this all over my lips in a lipstick kind of way basically, so just outlining them as I would normally and then filling in the entire entirety of my lips using the lip liner. Once the lip liner has been applied, I decided some gloss was needed. I took the Soap and Glory Plumping Lip Gloss. Again, all products will be listed on the blog, so be sure to check that out. This gives a nice finish to the skin. 
and then we're going to go and dress up the rest of the face just after I've applied enough lip gloss that I can possibly fit on my lips. <laughs> So after that has been finished, I'm taking it in the NYX Matte Bronzer, just dusting this all across the outer portions of my face and whatever's left on the brush I like to just down the middle parts of my face. I also apply some of this down my neck just to make sure that my foundation goes from a nice and easy down so there's no kind of harsh line on my neck. Then I'm taking the contour shade from the Sleek Face Contour Kit and just going under my cheekbones, around my temples and the sides of my forehead just to give some nice shape to the face. Then I'm going in with a peachy blush onto the apples of my cheeks to add some glow but I didn't want anything too peak pink as I always keep in the nice bronzy kind of look to this look. Then I took my favourite go to highlighter which is the MAC Soft and Gentle which you see in a clip, here we are. The MAC Soft and Gentle, of course every tutorial, I can't help it guys, it's the best, it's the best. That's the finished look, I really hope you this tutorial guys, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed, especially down to this new editing. Woo! So this is the finished look, it's very bronzy, summer goddess, really kind of summer inspired in general and I just love it, I think it's a go to look, suits so many skin tones, so many eye colours and is so foolproof. So let me know what you think down in the comments. And what does a summer goddess need? But some amazing fragrance to make you smell amazing. This is the So Rio fragrance, which is the perfect summer fragrance. You'll see all the reviews detailed on my blog, but I thought I'd include this in this video just to give you a quick insight on how you could smell and look wonderful for the summer. So make sure to go check out that blog post. All the links will be in the down bar for you. It's just the perfect summer fragrance that makes you feel like a summer goddess. So thank you for watching.